in the age when so many game developers and IPs are like, you get an open world game, you get an open world game, you get an open world game. It seems like Kirby has what is claimed to be an open world game as well. And I've actually been kind of hyped for this for, for a decent while because this game actually does look really neato. So, oh, now there's an update. What the heck? I, oh, it's a system update. Gosh, dang it. I, I specifically checked before the stream if Kirby and the Forgotten Land needed like any updates, like a day one patch or anything like that. I was like, nope, software is up to date. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I guess there's no patch I need to worry about installing for this game or anything like that. And at the moment I try to open this, my entire Switch is just like, software update time. This is the perfect time to do a software update. Darn you, Switch. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Now there's no volume. Now there's volume. Okay. <laughs> we should be good. We should be a okay. At least it's not as inconvenient as when Windows tries to update, but like, you know, it's not like that saying much. Would you like to connect online? This will allow you to make your gameplay information visible to other players and all over the world? Sure? Uh, yeah, I very much like the visuals of this game from what I've seen thus far. By the use of gameplay information, by second except you agree that your gameplay information will be collected by us, Nintendo, for analysis and use in promotional activities, improving our products, and providing other users with statistical information with the game. Um, oh, we accept. Well, the online setting has been changed to use. Your gameplay information is now visible to other players all over the world. Wow. As you progress through the game, check in with Wise Waddle D to access global gameplay information and see how you stack up. Uh, select the difficulty wild mode, a Kirby game that's a bit wilder and more challenging. This is eventually be tough at times where you collect a lot of star coins as a reward, be able to change the settings later. Spring breeze mode, a Kirby game that's simple to play. You'll have a lot of health for this adventure. Perfect for those who are new to action games. So the counting, this is, well, I guess it is an action game, but like, it's so crazy to think of like Kirby as a action game. I also love how wild mode is like the default selected thing. This is probably like normal mode. And then this is probably like the casual kind of thing. Cause this is meant to be one of those kinds of games that could also apply to like whatever audience trying to get into a uh, get into games. So yeah, we're we're obviously like gonna be doing wild mode is the thing. Water balloon Kirby unironically looks really good from a graphic standpoint. Yeah, from what I've seen of like the trailers and little smidges, I'm uh, intrigued. Oh, opening cutscene. So is this gonna be like the opening cutscene of every Kirby game where it's like all happy and great and wonderful and then the cur and then the ending is just like you've killed god i sure hope that that's what this game becomes as well <laughs> we shall see if it works out like that like many other kirby games <laughs> the last time we played a kirby game on this channel was the first big playthrough i ever did on this channel of kirby star allies on the switch it's crazy to think back on and it was archived just as full streams then. So I was thinking about doing this as like a YouTube stream series instead of a Twitch stream series because, you know, like Kirby Star Allies playthrough from four years ago is just, <laughs> it's just long streams like that as well. But I was like, eh, I'll just do what I'm comfortable with with like Twitch streaming for now. I'll do YouTube streams of a playthrough another time. What is this? The freaking reverse the beginning of Mario plus Rabbids? <laughs> Mario plus Rabbids opening on opposite day? Oh, so you can get away from Galeem, but you can't get away from a random pillar? Okay, Kirby. <laughs> oh my, Kirby, what's happening to ya? Did Kirby get transported to a slightly worse dimension? What is this, the opening to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers? Are we gonna go join the guild? Hey, it's Lush Woods, or what's another relatively close to the beginning Pokemon Mystery Dungeon kind of dungeon in a different Mystery Dungeon game to be fair, but oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I'm very much liking the visuals here thus far. Kirby got used to kind. My goodness, not only is this a new age of uh, so many video games out there embracing open world, but it's a new age of so many video games becoming isekais. <laughs> oh, look at his little raft! <laughs> oh, my goodness. So the jump button is A, and then B is the suck. How do I... 
How do I actually like eat something though? Like, because normally, normally in a 2D Kirby game, you would press down and then you'd eat it. But like now it's like, it's gotta be something else. Y, X, A? B just sends it out. I don't know how to, I don't know how to swallow. It is a very bright game, isn't it? Hopefully it has a bright future ahead of it. How do, whoa. Oh my goodness, it gets more powerful if I hold it. Uh. Oh, jump tutorial. Wow. Okay. Oh, I can't do anything with that flower. Oh man. Oh man, what's this? What is this? No. Oh. Yoink. I will take that. No, how do I, um... I want to find out how I swallow things. I don't know how I do it. Oh, I pressed L. I pressed the L button and I did it, apparently. Oh. Oh. What? They're sidestepping in this game? What? So you can press L or ZL. Oh, any of the triggers. It's the same with all the triggers. So you can use whatever trigger you want. <laughs> what? Uh... Okay. Boop. Wow. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay, then. I guess the doogie heard something. It's heading out. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, Kirby's literally got dodge rolls now. I'm, uh, very quite perplexed. Kirby gonna go kill Radon, imagine. Boop. Oh, it's sweet. A cherry. Glug. Checkpoint. Check. Ponder. Uh, is there gonna be a cutscene? Nope. Not quite. Just you taking this in. The Forgotten Land, huh? What is this, Pikmin? I'm liking the music thus far. Oh, the music's pretty nice. Oh, the frame rate of those dudos when I'm about, at about this distance is a little bit sketchy. Little bit of sketchy frame right there. Here it's pretty fine, but uh Time to become Lonk? It's time to become Lonk, I guess. So now, uh Okay. Hold Y to drop ability, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh yeah, I'm very much liking the music thus far, let me tell ya. But yeah. <laughs> it's Earth after we all die, yep. <laughs> yep. And it's a land long forgotten. But yeah, that's why I, uh, that's why I immediately thought of Pikmin. That's what I thought of there. Oh, sweet energy drink! Hashtag not sponsored, but could be by whatever energy drink company. Okay, ladder? <laughs> Up we go. How about I... Alright, time to throw bombs. Oh my goodness, things just got really destructive real fast. My goodness, there's just like a really satisfying, simple, fun to Kirby games, I swear. It's just, okay, so you can't go like infinitely high then. Do they just, if they don't make contact, they take a while before exploding? Hmm. Hmm. Boop. <laughs> well. Oh, I can throw like that by jumping. Interesting. Oh, sweet, a carrot, exactly what I needed. Don't know what that does for me, but, um, oh, nice. <laughs> like I said, there's just something that's like a really nice, simple, fun to Kirby games. Okay. That's an old looking car. Oh, look at the detail on the fur and the cutscenes, though. Oh no! <laughs> uh, it's a pretty light car then. <laughs> um. Well, <laughs> here we go. Jump Turbo Dash. I still have the hat for the actual power that I have. It's Carby. Oh my. <laughs> Um, whee! Oh man, I can't wait to see what speedruns of this game look like. That's what I honestly can't wait for. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. 
I have two watches, local and Tokyo time, so I know when to drift. Bonk. My goodness gracious. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is certainly something, isn't it? Bonk. <laughs> What's this? Oh, just a whole bunch of goodies. Cool. Okay. Guess I'm going this way. I got another checkpoint. Away we go. I guess maybe I knock that down. Maybe. Okay. Down goes the bridge. <laughs> what? It has a theme song? Oh my goodness, this is the most anime Kirby game I've ever seen in my life. What am I playing right now? <laughs> it's, just, it's an anime intro for Kirby. What? <laughs> I am at a loss for words. <laughs> it's literally an anime intro. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> this. I, what can I even say right now? I'm at a complete loss for words. How? Wow, um. That sounded like something very different for a second there. Oh no, the Waddledees have been taken. We have to save them. Okay, next level, I guess. This is certainly something. It's one heck of an opening, isn't it? It'd be interesting to see a Kirby DLC for a... Oh, dang it. So I can't take this up there. Oh, man. <laughs> if I can do that again, whatever. Okay. Okay. But if there ever was a Kirby DLC for Mario Kart, then would Kirby just uh, be the car? Or would Kirby actually be in a cart? Oh, jeez. I'm used to video games that being like the run button. So I started holding that. Like, is this a run button, I wonder? There might just not be a run button, though. Oh, no. What happened here? Could it possibly have been... Uh, I don't know what kind of dumb joke I can make. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I'm all that fond of the lack of sound effects during the cutscenes there, like no sound for the cage. It's more like here's a cutscene without any real sound to it and then music played over it is what it's more like. Which kind of has its own charm to it in a way, but it's kind of weird, you know? <laughs> oh, there's just something, something about Kirby creatures. You look like you could fit through those bars. Easily. Have I got to save you? Well, I have the power of bombs. So like, oh, it's like a little boss battle arena. Oh my. Uh, this is what we've come to, huh? Ow. Bonk. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, the slope screwed with me there. Oh, oh, I just walk up to it and then it's a-okay. I was about to say, are we gonna get the classic Kirby tune? The answer's yes. Phew, you saved me. Thank you. But what about those other guys? The Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. Are we gonna take the warp star? Hi. What? You'll help me save everyone. That's great. So, your name is Kirby. My name is Anigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. 
I'm Elephilin. Nice to meet you. So, so this is like our travel companion of this game. I don't know what that's a reference to. I'm sorry to say. Oh, the music's nice and charming. Hey, Kirby. Oh, oh, it's Bandana Waddle D. Ah. Co-op with two players. Select play co-op from the pause menu to have P2 control Bandana Waddle D. Work together by playing together. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over by Popstar 2. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Neat, neat. Watch the main villain be the god of capitalism that destroyed this world in the first place. Honestly, I'd be super surprised, but at the same time, I wouldn't, considering Kirby. Like, you know, it would seem so out of place, but at the same time, it would also be, like, so fitting for Kirby. Wackily enough. So, I mean, uh... Natural planes. Okay. So... Was that the one I... No, this is the... Oh. Oh, and it shows at the bottom right there the number of Waddle Dees that I've rescued. Let's go save those poor captured Waddle Dees. Okay. I like the overworld theme and how it uses, like, the main leitmotif. I don't like how my health doesn't come back after going to the overworld. I would think that, you know, you would have, like, a fresh set of health going into a level each time, but what do I know? All right, clear the stage. Save the hidden Waddle Dees and some other mystery things. And I keep the hat. Look at the gemstone on the hat. Okay, let's go. Downtown Grassland. Oh, look at this. I might potentially have my camera off for like the intro to levels just so that, uh, you know, I could potentially use them for thumbnails down the line. Maybe, maybe. I like the, uh, how the slope changes, you know, the way that you roll the bombs. Like there's a bit of resistance up slope and uh, it goes way faster down. So, oh my goodness. Yeah, the physics of that are really good for sure. Should I, uh, I can get the cutter ability. This is what I can do. Yoink. Time to cut her. Time for this now, how about? Mean looking rabbit. I'll leave you be. I'll leave you be then, how about? Sweet. More of them coin thing bobs that I guess are maybe like the currency or something like that. Golf physics, that's what it really is there. Oh, sweet cake. Yoink. What's this? Oh. Ah. Make five tulips bloom. Oh, is our first hidden thing, Bob. Okay. Was this just an old can? Oh. Oh. B? About oh. So, yeah, I can keep my ability like that. Jump soda shot. <laughs> well... Man, somebody really loaded this up with a lot of sodas before the Earth went to this state, I guess. Wow, um... What do I do with these? No idea. Oh. Oh, I do have a limited ammo. Okay. It is limited, after all. And I can get some more cans and stuff. Gotcha, okay. Break through the building shutter. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Found the vending machine, time to change the stream title. What, because I had it as foul Kirby car in search of the vending machine. Well, boop, up we go. Let's see what's up this way. Hello? What is this? It's like one of those uh, mystery capsule thing or bobs that are bigger in Japan. Or whatever the heck. Whatever the heck it is. Hi. Whoa, can I just like... Oh, that's the drop ability thing, Rob. And I can keep in mind that I can dodge roll and such. I'll try to keep that in mind in the future. Oi. Okay, is there anything that I'm missing over here? No, doesn't seem like. Okay. <laughs> Away we go. <laughs> the Forgotten Land is visually based off of Japan and they love their vending machines. That is true. That is sweetly true. Yeah, I might prefer the bomb. So maybe I'll switch back to that. That's maybe what I'll do. Yoink! <laughs> Poor Dudo. He's minding his own business throwing bombs out there. He's throwing bombs minding his own business. I don't know. I don't know. Well, destroy those boxes. Then we don't have to worry about any cannon fire over here. Cones. Cones? Can I become like a cone zombie like in Plants vs. Zombies? <laughs> what is the point of this? 
It jumps spike downward. For... For what? What... What... What do I do with this? Go in the hole, maybe? Oh, no, that's a hole I just made. Uh... Time to die! My goodness, get murderized. Oh, maybe do this? Oh, okay. <coughs> oh man, I'm allergic to digging holes. Oh my goodness gracious. This is life now, oh crud. It's a little bit wacky. It's a little bit wacky, I must say. Yoink. No, we can break the metal boxes before. It seems like it does the uh, digging here. This is what it mostly does. Whoa! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Okay, well. Okay. Up we go. Oh man, I've got sniffles today after that sneeze. Whoa. This way we go. Oh, ride the spewing water up to the balcony. Oh. Oh, another one of those capsule thing bobs. Okay. Okay, I got the thing bob. I wonder if I can destroy now. Nah, I can't destroy that, unfortunately. <laughs> I love the little waddle log. Look at the walking animation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, sweet. The cherry. All right. So ladders are basically the way to uh, prevent the player from being in mouthful mode like all the time then. I must. Uh, oh, I can pick my poison. I'm going to stick with the bomb, though. That's what I'm going to do. That was my plan here. Oi. Be gone, Wild Edge, our first boss. Whoa. No. Kirby Dodge Roll. <laughs> Gadget Pod Capsules. Yeah, that, that is what they're called. That thing we're bobbed there. I can't get damage from my own bombs, can I? Hopefully not. Um, the dodge rolling is uh, interesting. Ow. So mean. Bonk. Well, there we go. First Kirby boss. <laughs> the first boss of the game taken down. Biggest of spins. The biggest of spins, though. What? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Save the hidden Waddle D. So that's 103. Checkpoint. So still way more to the level to go. Yeah, I don't know if this is quite an open world game like a lot of people have been saying that is. I'm not quite certain at this, if it's kind of like this. Who knows, maybe. Maybe it will be, but it might not be. No, so I probably can't stop you while you're actually charging there. Probably not. Stabby stab. Up the ladder we go. Where is this? What is this? Mouthful, wait. What? Oh, 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 okay. You can see the knitting on the cap. Yeah, that's a nice detail there. That's very much a nice attention to detail for sure. I mean, Pokemon fans will be quick to tell you that, uh, that <laughs> the, po the modern Pokemon games are all the hard work can handle. The Switch can't handle any better graphics, whereas Kirby out here has got like, you know, the intricate fabric going on with this hat. Boop. Yoink. No, I don't need the care right now. I'm just leave you be. Oh my good gracious. Could this be dog? Uh. So maybe I'd use like the cone to slam down or something? I wonder if there's a uh, slam down attack that I would have normally there. Oh, there's a cone here. Ah! So I do this to get the cone and then do that okay gotcha so i saved the hidden waddle d's cool what other objectives do i have can i check it from here yeah clear the stage make five tulips bloom break the building shutter ride the spewing water up to the balcony so it's just making tulips bloom now i'm fairly certain i see one over there but i probably missed some others along the way so i probably can't do it at this point i don't think probably not i love the walking animation on this like my goodness up we go Places to be and whatnot. Whoa. Bonk. I like the music. I very much do like the music. Kirby music is always great, though. No, oh, there's a tulip back here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting five at this rate, though. I don't think. That's probably one of the latter ones now. 
I probably missed earlier ones. Oh my good gracious. Ah! Ah! I can chill down here, right? Cool. So I gotta like make my way around town. Oh my goodness, he takes out the wall. Uh. <laughs> okay. Yoink. Corn. Come on down and get some corn. I will sacrifice your firstborn. Uh, it's a big dog indeed. Oh, I need to do this and break it a little smidge myself. And then I need to come on down and do the slam down after getting the gotcha capsule thing Bob. Bam. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let me just waddle on over. There we go. Is that the level then? The level done? Heck yeah. Stage cleared. Sweet. Yeah, so I didn't do the two lips thing or Bob because I forgot to be paying attention to it for a little while. I cleared it in wild mode because we're wild and wacky around here. What's about gotcha capsule? Oh, sweet. It's Kirby. Imagine you get a gotcha capsule and it's just like yourself. And you start looking around like who made this and you just see everyone like staring at you and all the... There's like security cameras and whatever mall you're at that are just like trained on you. You're just like in the Truman Show. I don't even know. Uh, Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home on Planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world. Traveling through that vortex also gave Kirby a new mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure. Yeah, we just impaled Mr. Dudo. What other thing more bobs we have? Let's see here. Car Kirby, Volume 1. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. Well, he does. He turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use Turbo Dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. My goodness. So that's a rarity too, I guess. <laughs> no, but I don't get a description on that one. 